International Social Service, ISS, is celebrating its 90th anniversary. And we have today more than 100 partners worldwide that are providing support to children, families, individuals and professionals on cross-border social services. And uh, I, I thank all these partners that are uh, making ISS um, a worldwide organization. We work on intercountry casework involving child protection and also with children in care who can be reunited with family members overseas. And we are the only charity in the UK who's able to do this work. And the only reason why we're able to uh, assist in these cases is because of the International Social Service Network and the very valued partnerships that we have with our colleagues overseas who help us to connect to professionals uh, that can help us to resolve these very uh, difficult and complex cases um, so that children can be reunited with their families and so that they can always be safe um, even when they are uh, moving across international borders. It's also is to the best interest of the children to be taken into consideration before even thinking of possibly okay. moving them. Okay, so you could provide uh, the, the information on the history and what has happened what the, ch what the children would need. Absolutely. And so we can sort out with the German authorities what they could um, uh, uh, could arrange for the children. They will need a lot of support if okay. they go back to Germany. Okay. So yes. uh, most of the people contact us and ask us to help them to fill a gap which, uh, which are, is in their life which they could not fill otherwise. So they now, after years, found the strength or the, the courage to, to look for birth families, for fathers or siblings. Um, perhaps I want to tell you an example. Um, last year, uh, the uh, branch of the USA contacted us and asked us for help in finding the birth mother. The child was adopted in 1955 in Germany to an, um, to an US couple at that time. And with the help of the given information, we were able to, to locate the youth welfare office who were involved at that time in the adoption. And then later on, we found out the, the address of the mother, of the birth mother. We contacted her by letter, as we usually do it, and she immediately uh, got, back, got back to us. And she was really open for our contact. She's now 80 years old, and she has never told anybody about the child she was given up for adoption. And with the help of ISS on both sides, we were able to, yeah, to enable the both parties to get in contact with each other. And now this year, um, the first visit of the son and his family is planned. I'm Chen from ISS Hong Kong. We have intercountry casework, adoption program, asylum seekers and torture claimant service, and refugee and migrant services. We have uh, service centers in Hong Kong as well as in mainland China but we also connect services in Taiwan and Macau. So if you need services in these places, you come to us. The families are moving all the time from one country to another, and this brings risk situations to children. So for example, when you have a child who returns to another country, and this child needed protection in a country, so then the authorities, they need ISS to inform the other country to make sure that a child protection measure is taken from one country to the next country. Or to make sure that an assessment is made about the child in the other country to be sure that the child is okay and to alert the authorities. So this means that we need to cooperate between an ISS partner in country A with an ISS partner in country B. Sometimes this is quite easy when the partners are close, when the countries are close, when the, the ISS structures work well. Sometimes it can pay, take a little longer time, but very often the authorities, they need ISS because other ways of cooperation between the governments are even slower. Hi there, I'm Damon Martin from International Social Service Australia. Our core services remain being 
post-adoption tracing and family reunification. And we've been very happy with GTR in Romania and the services they've been able to provide in terms of tracing and locating birth parents for our Romanian intercountry adoptees in Australia. For ISS casework, understanding the needs for intercountry adoptees and adult adoptees in general, the issues they face around identity and grief and loss is very important to our casework. You know, understanding these their needs ensures that we don't repeat the mistakes of the past and we learn from the lessons made. GTR team is very happy that during this week in 2015 uh, we host the CCC meeting in Romania in Timisoara within the GTR's headquarters. And during this week, it was a good opportunity for all the SSS partners to talk about the protection, the child protection system from all over the world in order to, to, improve, uh, to improve the legislation. This, is, was, uh, this was one of our main topics. And also, uh, during this week, it was a good opportunity for uh, all the ISSS partners to know GTR's work, to know the beneficiaries, and uh, in this way, uh, step by step, to improve also our, our work together. Thank you.